Hey, more junk. It's locked and too heavy to carry. None of the keys fit. Big old books about natural remedies. Whenever I bruised myself, Grandpa always told me to put a plantain on the wound, instead of giving me a band-aid. Huh, oh, it's nailed to the table. I guess you can call it a table lamp now. Old broken shears and a nut. Nothing really interesting otherwise. And nothing. The bulb must have burned out. Looks like some blank pages. It's just a nut. Two halves of once fully functional shears. Huh, there's a blank page under the bed. Looks like some blank pages. The apple orchard. When it was still looked after, Grandpa always had to lift me up because I couldn't reach the apples. Did they think there was something hidden behind the curtains? This metal detector doesn't seem to work. A bottle of invisible ink. I remember Grandpa used to hide candies, and I had to find them using his secret messages. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I think that's actually how I learned to read. Invisible ink, made from strong alcohol and concentrated lemon juice. After writing with it, you need to heat the paper to see what was written. A spider web. Huh. Mom never lets me kill a spider. She says it brings good luck. A piece of string. Well, that might come in handy. An old sweatshirt. <laughs> Unless there's an ugliest sweatshirt competition in town, I won't be wearing this. It used to be a window. Well, those flowers are definitely fake. Eh, nothing special about it at all. A picture of fruit hanging in the kitchen. Never understood why they're so popular. It's out of water. Around the world in 80 days. 80 days, huh? I think I played.
played a video game about that. Flower. What were they expecting to find? Those are some big feet. My fingers don't fit here. Oh no! Grandpa's special red pepper! Oh, he'd be devastated if he saw it go to waste like this. If they wanted to cook the rice, they forgot to add water. A clean, fresh towel. It's a green pot. Or blue? Can't really tell in this lighting. Lighter. Same place as usual. I remember I once shut a cat in there. Yeah, it didn't like me very much after that. There are some batteries and a bottle of kerosene over here. I don't have a coat. My fingers don't fit here. It doesn't fit. I don't see how that would work. It's full of oil now. Oh, it's nailed to the table. I guess you can call it a table lamp now. A message from my grandpa.
No way, I'm not going anywhere near it. I will have huge blisters from the toxic sap of hogweed. I need to find a fitting bolt first. Hey, it seems to work now. It's a patch of land for growing veggies, also known as the place where small objects are lost. Okay, something's there. I marked the spot. I should check out the spot I marked. The metal detector beeped right there. Hope Grandpa hit a big treasure chest there. A bolt? Well, that's not exactly what I imagined. Well, the bolt fits, but I need a nut that goes with it. This nut is too small. My fingers don't fit here. Let's go fishing. It's a nut. Great. This one's just fine. Yes, that seems perfect. All right, let's chop them down. I just have to be careful not to get the toxic sap on me. in the tree hollow. A stamped letter written in Cyrillic. The year says 1989. <laughs> Looks like some blank pages. Looks like some blank pages. I'm not entirely sure, but I think this note is written in Polish. I bet yours would know. 
Huh? A hidden number? Hello? Miss Melda, our conversation ended without a proper solution, don't you think? How the hell did you get my number? Oh, I know many things, Miss Melda. But really, it was just a matter of looking it up on your work website. Freelance programmer, Milda Kovas. Now, do you have what I asked for? Who are you? The one you owe some documents to. Whatever you want, you're not getting it. You tampered with my patience, Miss Milda, and suddenly it ran out. I'll be right there. We'll deal with this in person. I think I found everything I needed here. I should leave before he shows up. Follow her. Discreetly.